Today we are going to be asking the general public what they think dressage is. It's um, the combination of horse and rider and, and dance, more like dance to, to music and very skilled riding, I think. When you put um, horses through particular exercises to a very high degree. Dressage is basically, it's horses like doing different movements to music mainly. And yeah, that's, that's what we've watched. I think dressage is a rider um, using movements to make a horse dance or yeah. move in a nice way. By the way, this lady watches the vlogs. Oh, do you want to say what you think dressage is? I have absolutely no <laughs> idea. Go on. Go on. When people just ride a horse to make it dance, <laughs> I think. Something to do with horses. Yeah. Any, do you know any more? Um, it's the thing they put on the horses. No, keep going. I wouldn't have a clue. Oh, I think I know. Knows. Isn't dressage where it's like an Olympic thing and they get on a horse and they do all this business and then they have to go like that and they move forwards and backwards and they spin round and that sort of thing? Yeah. It is. Oh, oh, yeah. oh I knew it. bonus. I knew I, knew, I, knew I, knew I should have come reindeers. to work this morning. I know about reindeers. Reindeer dressages. Yeah, yeah, but they're yeah. when they when they spin their antlers get tangled up and it's <laughs> it, it's a mess. It's a oh, it just looks like a horse is just hopping around. <laughs> That's what you I really see. Do you think it looks difficult? For the horses? <laughs> you don't think it looks difficult for the rider? Actually, I don't know. I actually don't understand it. I'm confused. Um, so it's like um, it's like showman kind of horse riding, where you have to get horses to do tricks and like walk in diagonal directions and stuff like that in a big arena. That's about all I know. What do you think dressage is? Hey guys, my name is Olivia Towers and I'm a professional dressage rider based in the UK and I'm also an equestrian vlogger slash lifestyle vlogger and I'm teaming up with the FEI to bring some videos to you guys and today's one is going to be what is dressage so we've just asked the general public what they think it is but let's go into a bit more detail. So the modern day dressage you would see at the Olympics actually comes from classical dressage which is really rich in history. The earliest mention of it is actually 2000 years ago. Classical dressage evolved from cavalry movements and training for the battlefields. It is the art of riding in harmony with rather than against the horse. So we're going to be talking more about the modern day dressage. I've mentioned that it is at the Olympics and the level they do at the Olympics is called Grand Prix and this has the highest level of movements you can do, things like piaf, passage, canter pirouettes, the canter zigzag, uh, you've got two time changes, you've got one time changes. So these are some of the hardest movements to do and the reason they are hard is because it takes a lot of strength from the horses for them to be able to perform this so it takes years and years and years to produce the strength not only do the horse and rider have to be strong enough to do this level the communication between the two has to be amazing especially if you think that you are taking a animal into a big atmosphere a lot of the time there's crowds there's music that horse has to 100% trust you because you're then going to take it in and you're going to perform some really difficult movements and if that horse is not quite feeling secure with you then it's going to be really tricky so it takes so many years not only to teach them the movements to get them strong enough but also to develop that bond between horse and rider so that is the top level that you can get to in dressage but there are so many different things you can do within it as well there are stepping stones say for me as a professional rider if i have a young horse i can start them at the lower levels and i can progress them up slowly which is really good because it gets them used to things it gets them strong enough and it's kind of a nice steady way to develop the horse towards the top level but if you don't want to go and do it for a top level say you just want to do it for fun you can do that as well there are so many different um, options and they also have competitions for amateur riders they have there's so much now they're really starting to open it up so within my country we have different competitions for different breeds of horses you don't have to have the typical dressage horse to compete a dressage we also have para dressage which is split into different groups depending on the functional ability of the rider and this goes through all the levels as well so from beginner to the olympics there is some incredible para riders out there and it really does show the bond and the trust between horse and rider for the competition side we do a dressage test and a dressage test is made up of different movements depending on the level you do so the lower levels are the slightly easier movements 
the higher levels are the more demanding ones. So for each movement we do, we get marked out of 10. The judges are looking for lots of different things. They're looking for the rhythm of the horse, they're looking for the harmony between horse and rider, they're looking for the suppleness, they're looking for the straightness, they're looking for the impulsion and the engagement. And each individual movement gets assessed. And also each individual movement has its own criteria. So for example, a canter pirouette ha has different criteria to say the medium trot. And the judges know this criteria and they judge what they see and then they put their mark down and they also write a comment. After you have finished your test, your marks then all get added up together and you get an overall percentage and the person with the highest percentage wins. So normally these tests are set routines, but there is also the freestyle, which is done to music. So you can decide whatever kind of music you want and you have to take the different movements you have to do and then you can mix them up to whatever you want to do. So the harder your routine, the higher your marks are going to be, but you have to balance it out between being able to do the routine and also to pull the movements off. It's a little bit like ice skating. Any part of riding has dressage within it. So whether you want to event, show jump, or just hack out, there is a degree of dressage within that because again, like I was saying, it's the harmony between horse and rider. It is that communication, it is that partnership. Dressage, for me especially personally, has developed my mindset massively and one of my big things with the vlogging is I speak a lot about mindset because I used to be extremely negative as a rider um, not even as a rider as a person in general I was I had no self-confidence I doubted myself on everything I did and the horses really picked up on this so around two years ago I said to myself I need to change for the horses I need to improve myself for the horses and so I went on this journey of improving my mindset and from doing that, my horses have grown so much in confidence. My riding has improved. I'm also a competitor, so that's starting to improve. But I would say beyond anything, it's that the horses have helped me become a better person. And I think that's what's the most incredible thing about working with them. Um, they taught me self-discipline because I couldn't just not get up in the morning. I had the purpose in life. I had this drive, I had this responsibility. They've also taught me to really assess myself because a lot of people say that a horse is like a mirror. So if you're feeling nervous, the horse is nervous. If you're feeling insecure, the horse is insecure. If you're feeling any emotions, the horse picks up on it, which I just think is incredible. So it really teaches you to, yeah, get that self-discipline around your, your mindset. So, our conclusion. Yes, dressage is dancing horses. It's that harmony between horse and rider. It's beautiful, it's about movement, it's about suppleness, it's about grace. But I think as well, one of the main things is that it's that partnership between horse and rider. It's that bond, it's that trust, and that is developed over years and years. And it sounds cheesy, but it is the most incredible experience when you know that an animal trusts you that much. It is a bond, it's that two hearts joined together. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, please comment below, give it a thumbs up, and make sure to subscribe. Also, please let me know if there is anything in particular you want me to do, any topics you want me to speak about, or any videos you want me to make, and I'll see you for the next one.